All right, if you think your commute is getting longer, well, you're right, it's not your imagination. Traffic on the roads is on the rise as more workers are heading back to the office. Take a look at this. A new survey by the U.S. Census Bureau found roughly 18% of the workforce was fully remote back in 2021. And as you see next to me, that number dropped to just over 15% last year in 2022. Now, with more people adding to rush hour traffic, it's no surprise that commuting times have jumped as well. Um, almost a full minute, can you believe it? From 2021 to 2022, and it's not likely to end as more companies move to in-office mandates uh, from before the pandemic. Remember that? Let's bring in Mike Schneider now. He covers the census for the Associated Press. Mike, say it ain't so. I can tell, especially on certain days, middle of the week as I take the train into work, it's packed. Mondays, Fridays, not so much. But how do commuting times and traffic compare right now to before the pandemic? Right. Um, well, before the pandemic, uh, you, the average commute was about 27 minutes. Uh, in 2021, first full year of the pandemic, that dropped two minutes to about uh, um, 25 minutes. Uh, between 21, 2021 and 2022, that uh, went up almost a minute. Uh, reflecting this tension um, between, say, workers who enjoy working remotely and employers who are anxious to get their workers back into offices. Now, in your survey, how much did these commute times factor into people's feelings about returning to in-office work? Because it used to be that if you had to go in, OK, you didn't have as bad as a commute, there were fewer people out. But now it seems like that might factor into how people feel about working in their office again. Right, absolutely. I mean, you you have um, a lot of people who were, worked remotely um, because of the pandemic. And in fact, um, from 2019, uh, even to last year, you still have triple the amount of people uh, working remote uh, post-pandemic than they did pre-pandemic. Uh, even though that number has come down. And you find people enjoy the lifestyle. They can make dinner during their lunch break or toss a, a load of laundry in the wash. Um, but um, um, employers uh, uh, want to get a lot of these workers back uh, because they think that uh, it creates more productivity and creativity um, amongst their workers. Uh, and uh, I interviewed some people uh, who... Uh, initially, were first were forced to work remotely, uh, but hated it because they missed the, the human interaction and the social interaction. Yeah, uh, and were very happy to uh, go back to the office. Yeah, I love social interaction. Uh, speaking for myself, now are there some green shoots here though? Might there be some opportunities for folks to find a new commuting routine, take public transportation, perhaps, or carpool or bike? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you also saw an increase uh, in the percent of people who are carpooling from 2021 to 2022. Um, one thing that the survey doesn't capture uh, is the amount of hybrid work that's going on. Um, it just asks if you are um, working at home. It doesn't ask how many days you are working from home. Ah. So in, in that number of people who are working from home, you could probably uh, have a good chunk of people who are maybe um, working from home only two or three days. So, uh, uh, and, uh, you know, as far as, as far as their commute, it's going to depend on perhaps which day they actually go into the office. Yeah. Well, Mike Schneider, I appreciate you working from home today for us. I believe that's some anyway, and joining exactly. us from Orlando. Thanks for your time. Thank you.